Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this audio, we will discuss about SysOx table space, Oracle database, how to purge or clean SysOx table space. Restrictions or SysOx table space. Using SysOx data file clause in the create database statement, you can specify only data, fi data file attributes in SysOx table space. You cannot alter attributes like permanent, read, write, extend management, local, segment space management, auto, with an alter table space statement. SysOx table space cannot be dropped or renamed. Who is occupying SysOx table space? SysOx table space is more or less stable, so it would be smart to check what is eating the space in there. Connected as a DBA user, run the script under Oracle Home, RDBMS, Admin, UTL, SYX, SZ to get the current usage of the SysOx table space and see how it will grow when you change certain parameters for which you are asked to enter values. Queries to run. Run below query to know what all occupants are there in SysOx occupying all the space. Select occupant name, occupant description, space usage k bytes from v dollar SysOx underscore occupants. Once you find what are all occupying the space, then you can work on it. If you have tackled with huge number of AWR reports, occupying then you need to check AWR retention period with the following command you can check select retention from DBA his WR control through this query we can get for how many days AWR reports maintaining if that which we did not require that many days we can reduce it example if we have more than seven days we can reduce it to 7 days which is 7 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 60 equals 10080 10,080 minutes. The retention period is modified to 7 days means 10,080 minutes and the interval between each snapshot is 60 minutes through below query. Execute dbms underscore workload underscore repository dot modify underscore snapshot underscore settings in the bracket parameters interval 60 comma retention 10080 bracket close semicolon in case while reducing the retention period if we face an error then check the moving window size value with below query execute dbms workload repository modify baseline window size it is written there that's why i am not reading underscore window size 7 select moving window size from dba his baseline where baseline type equals moving window retention period setting then update it to correct value and then execute the above awr retention query as below Execute DBMS workload repository, modify snapshot settings, interval 60, retention 10080 for 7 days. Once the retention period is set, you can follow below steps to clean up the old AWR reports to free up space. Run below query to find the oldest and newest AWR snapshots. In PLSQL script, you can write like DBMS or if you don't want to run in PLSQL, you can write right execute dbms underscore workload underscore repository dot drop underscore snapshot underscore range low snap id comma high snap id or you can follow next slides to clear all awr tables by oracle scripts oracle is providing some scripts to clean automatically so must follow below commands to drop the old awr reports and rebuild the repositories this process is very fast too and authentic because it is given by Oracle, so it is efficient. You can uh, we need to connect to Oracle database. Before that, it's better if you reach to the RDBMS admin folder, or if you 
uh, are in Oracle Home, then just connect to Oracle and then you can type command at the rate at slash rdbms slash admin slash cat no awr dot dot sql or if you are already in admin folder then just type uh, um, at the rate cat no awr dot sql after script run below command to check all dropped select table name from dba tables where table name like wrm dollar sign underscore percent or table name like wrh dollar sign underscore percent this is to check that above script ha have dropped all uh, the tables or no if the select is showing you one or two tables then you can drop these tables by drop table cascade constraints command after that run purge recycle bin or you can um, type command alter system flush shared underscore pool it is recommended and flush shared pool will not cause any issue to already connected users next next script at the rate rdbms admin cat awrtb dot sql and then utlrp dot sql and then exec svrm dot sql this is only for 11g exec svrm dot sql is only for 11g you have to follow the sequence of the, these uh, scripts to execute if any error appears for last package which is exe csvrm then it it will be for dbms swrf internal package so you can compile it manually like alter package dbms underscore swrf underscore internal compile again alter package same package name dbms swrf internal compile body test the awr tables run below commands exec dbms underscore workload underscore repository dot create underscore snapshot if you face error aura 13518 invalid database id to resolve this must run below command exec dbms underscore swrf underscore internal dot register underscore local underscore dbid must bounce or restart database or startup force is also fine after clearing up all the awr reports we were able to get space from csox table space after running the above mentioned scripts if you immediately run start force you will not face any error lobs in csox a number of lob segments created for lob columns of awr tables in the csox table space consume significant storage this storage is not released even after awr snapshots are dropped and row counts in the table reduced for example select static from dba lob is where table name is equals wrh dollar underscore sql text or next command select static from dba segments where segment name equals the previous query returns the segment name which you can give here select count static from wrh dollar underscore sql text the lob segments can be rebuilt using the same name storage parameters and csox table space by executing a move operation on them this builds a new lob segment containing only the data currently in the lob and exchanges it with the original lob segment lobs in csox solution to implement the solution execute below steps start up the database in restrict mode to prevent interface from awr operations during the rebuild from a sql plus session connected as is dba perform the move operation as follows alter table wrh dollar underscore sql text move lob sql underscore text store as name of lob table space csox awr table is wrh dollar sign underscore sql text the lob column is sql underscore text 
and name of LOB is the name of the LOB segment whose storage we want to reclaim. The new LOB segment will have a new data object ID in the DBA objects and a new header file header block pair in the DBA segments. It should also have a reduced number of bytes and blocks in DBA segments. Check for and rebuild any unusable index on the table after the LOB move. Select index name from DBA indexes where table name equals WRH dollar sign underscore SQL text and status equals unusable. If you find anything there then must run alter index with the index name rebuild. Finally restart the database in normal mode. Other possible solutions alter table shrink space cascade on the table assumes that ASSM and enable row movement are used. Note this operation will lock the table during the shrink. Use DBMS redefinition to redefine the table online. This is also option. This operation could require up to double the size of the existing table if the table does not really have space to release. Thankfully this is completed. So this is the RC SOX purge document. This is authentic, tested and very good because this is the problem many DBS face RC SOX sometimes take huge huge space especially in big databases. So this is the best way to follow the scripts of Oracle to clean all AWR and AWH data and you can do it online and you can plan restart or start force any feasible time you have or startup force you can run immediately it will have no issue okay thank you we we will meet again in any other video thank you for listening must share and subscribe